Hey guys, my name is Eric Sounds, and today I've got another budget deck for you, the Budget Midrange Paladin. Now this deck does cost 1600 dust, so it's not under a thousand like some of my other decks, but it is a pretty reasonable price. Uh, I should say at the start though, I've when I played this, I didn't get a very good run rate with it. I played 11 games, I lost seven and won four. So it, it wasn't very successful, but I was playing at rank 11 and rank 12. So if you're playing the deck from anywhere between rank 25 and rank 15, I think you'll probably do all right with it. I struggled, like I said, at rank uh, 11, and then I fell back to rank 12. Also, if you look at the stats online, hsreplay.net has got a win rate of 56% this season. Um, so people are playing it and having some success with it. So the idea of the deck is to get the low-cost minions onto the board early. Your Argent Squire and your Righteous Protector, both very good cards to have in your opening hand. Then once you get a bit of board control, you can start playing your Devil Saw Egg and your Skelemancer. So these two cards are a bit unique in that they're very weak the turn you play them, but they have very strong death rattles. And this deck focuses on making those death rattles work. So for example, Devil Saw Egg, you summon a 5-5 Devil Saw when it dies. Skelemancer, if it's your opponent's turn, you will then summon an 8-8 eight, eight, um, skeleton. So it's important to remember that that, does not, that death rattle does not happen if it's on your turn. So there are cards in this deck that help to create those, um, those scenarios. Starting with the Defender of Argus, very good. Give adjacent minions plus one, plus one and taunt. So you could use that on two minions. Spike Ridge Steed, very good card. Should be in most Paladin decks to be honest. But if you play this, it will give it another death rattle. And also the Bone Mare. And the advantages of all of those three cards as well is that they give those minions taunt. So it works really well with the Skellymancer because once it's got taunt and it's um, got some big stats on it, the opponent doesn't have a choice but to destroy them. The only issue it does have is it's a bit weak to silence. So guys, I hope you like, enjoy the deck. Give it a go. Let me know how you do in the comments. If there's anything you would swap in or swap out, um, let me know. Uh, one thing I would say before I leave is that if you've got Sunkeeper Taran, put it in this deck. It's very good. You can discover one from Stonehill, but if you've got one to hand, lucky you, put it in there. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Especially if we're playing Pirate Warrior. Ugh. Wow. Okay, so it's probably not a Pirate Warrior. Not if you passed off turn one. Fatigue Warrior. I don't want him to draw too many cards, but he's gonna here, I think. Next time I can put a Dark Alarm Dwarf on here. Or even a Dark Wolf Alpha. So it's quite, quite a good one to play. So I've got to take a risk here. If I if I pop my egg, I get five five back. But that goes up by plus two attack. The five five dice of that and that goes up to another 
Mm. Uh, two attack, so it goes up to nine. Okay, I'll do this. It's going. It's just going to snowball if I don't. Next turn, the Direwolf Alpha can make that kill that if these two die. It's difficult, but if that snowballs, I've just lost, lost straight away. So. face here. I'm a child. Oh, okay, this is this is great for us. Well kind of he's gonna do a lot of damage but we can just get rid of that. He's got 15 attack but he's invested a lot into it. Bone Mare, which he's going to be find really difficult to get through. That's all. <laughs> Two Ravaging Ghouls right at the wrong time. Off, then we can start fighting back. If he's got a brawl, that's really bad for us. That's fine. Okay, what's he got? So we've got 10, 19, 21 on the board, plus a bone there, so we've got 25. So I'm guessing he hasn't got execute because he would have played it. A brawl is really bad for us. But he won't play that now. Okay, this is good. He seriously can take 9. This is better. My undead body. My shield for Argon. For the maker. Then we should have something up to buy man next turn. Quite easily, I should think. 
Okay, so he's given up on us. What now? Thank you. Okay, that's a good opening hand. So if this is a Valera deck, then we do need to kill this them as quickly as possible. Because if it goes into the long game, then we'll probably lose. Given this plus two attack does break it, but it doesn't do anything to that, so. I'm not going to break it because next turn I can do this. And if I had a 5 5 out there, he, he could have cleared it off here. Five five out. Yeah. Not on my watch. I was just thinking with Sunkeeper Tarium I could have changed it to a three three. shield mini. That's a good combo. 
pencils are good on that. So many wonderful poisons. I haven't seen him play for a while. Tarim, an Argent Protector on here, then I can kill that and still keep this alive, or I can just Tarim. No, I'll do this. I think Tarim and Kodo is just too good. I mean, there was better. There might be better situations to play that, but I just didn't have anything else to play. I've got Tarim, so he'll clear as much of this as he can. He should probably just clear that and then use his um, his bath in again. As long as he hasn't got a t uh, sap. When a friendly min. Oh, that's good. That is good. I just win because he's <laughs> not sure why I did that. Terrible. I'm always looking out for the ones. Oh, here we go. Very good. The light dims, but we fight. Mind if I roll Repent. me? 
Wow. Don't often see that played in um, standard. Give a beast plus two plus two. That sucks. should save that because it could work out so good after Spike Ridge Deed on that. Oh, he's done again. He's got lucky with those. Seems ridiculous, but you know, if he makes it into a 3 3, it doesn't die to my 6 2. So, or 2 6 even. I've got the card advantage over him. It's probably best for me to trade here. What he's used is Unleash the Hounds. I think he'll probably trade.
It's going to be quite hard for him to kill us from here. Use both his um, kill commands. Use his unleash the hounds. 